All right. Well, you know, I, I have a, I've lived next to Liberty High School. I, obviously, City Hall is right next to the Bethlehem Area Public Library. And for many years, I have watched. And those are areas where kids like to skate. And I've, I've watched for many years the cat and mouse game that goes on between whether it be the Bethlehem Area School District Security or our, our police department and sort of chasing the kids away. And the, and the kids are inevitably back a half hour later, and and that goes on back and forth. And it, and I think you know the fact that it's a it's sort of a drain on uh, on city resources and, and our, our police doing something that you know I'm sure their 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 uh, they you know their time could be much more productively used in fighting real crime. Uh, and and the, and the shame of it is that we take you know we sort of criminalize kids for doing something that they love, and uh, and they deserve uh, a safe and legal place to do. You know the you know to practice their athletic trade and, and to be creative and do the things that they love to do and you know I'm a big believer as mayor that we uh, have a an obligation to provide recreational opportunities for our youth in our community. I was a big beneficiary of that growing up as a kid. I didn't skate. I played baseball. I wrestled. I played football. And I did the more conventional sports. But I think we all recognize now that you know skating, BMXing, it's not a trend. It's not a fad. It is a legitimate sport and it's growing every year and, and and so in the same way that we are obligated to provide baseball fields and other recreational opportunities for kids we should provide that same opportunity uh, for skaters and i'm very proud to have been a part of this from the beginning uh, and i, and I want to thank everybody that's uh, really come together from the design and planning standpoint to the fundraising standpoint from the state uh, level to the local level and to make this uh, this this a possibility now we're not done yet we've got a long way to go uh, we still need private contributions, we're going to continue to seek public funding and grant funding, but uh, you know, we've, we've been able to really, uh, in a very Bethlehem way, uh, go from what was very sort of uh, not a particularly inspired project to something that we can all be really proud of, something that we're all confident is going to be first class. And so uh, I, I'm happy to be a part of it, and, uh, and, I, and, I, and I think that the outcome will be something we can all really be excited about.